Hi there YouTubers, this is Roscoe and welcome to my review of the Hot Toys Elder Predator 2.0 version from the film Predator 2. Now this figure has been my most anticipated of the year. Uh, ever since I saw the original prototype pictures I definitely wanted to add it to the collection even though I had the original one. Um, it was a little bit off the prototype but after some feedback uh, Hot Toys showed updated photos three weeks later and in my, my opinion they nailed it. Uh, it was spot on. So I've been very excited and finally it's arrived today. Still buzzing over it. I uh, haven't felt like this about a figure in a long time to be honest. Reminds me of when I got the original ones when I first started collecting 1-6 scale figures or Hot Toys. So, and I'm going to start by saying that this is the best Hot Toys Predator figure um, ever. Um, Hot Toys have definitely improved and this is their best by far. I absolutely love it. Alright, we'll get to talk about it in a bit more detail shortly. Let's go take a look at the packaging first. Here we have the slip cover style box. Just like the AVP ones, except this one has gold text. Sort of reflective like. Picture of the figure there. You have warnings on the back so nothing happening there. You slide that off. You have your inner box, got cast and crew written on the back, and on the other side you have your clear window to show the figure and the contents. For right, accessories, we get the instruction sheet, which is something you definitely should look at when getting this figure. There's a few things you need to do, and there's quite a few fragile parts on this piece that you'll need to be careful of. So make sure you pay attention to that and have a good read. We get four spare hand sculpts once you've decided how to pose him. Clench fists open and ones to hold the weapons. Two spare hand pegs. You get his wrist blades, short ones. I don't think he had them in the movie. And I like my Preds movie accurate so I won't be including those. But good for people who like to mix it up and have them displayed. They are metal. We get the standard hot toy stand, same as the original release. We get the flint top pistol. This seems to be a lot more detailed than the original one. Got the text on it on the other side. We get his sword, same as most of the other releases that they've done except this one has a bone trophy hanging from it that's pretty cool we get this pouch strap now that's something you need to be careful of some people might start to think oh, I'll put it straight over the top of his head and slide it on you'll never get it on that way the head is not removable obviously because it's got so many quills or whatnot, it's very fragile, they probably don't want you removing it. So that has to be assembled or put on from the bottom up. So you need to clench his legs together, slide it up over onto his shoulder. So you've got to do that very gently and take your time with it. You get this long bone necklace that easily slots over his head. You just have to maneuver it under all the dreads. You also get this other little piece, which, funnily enough, I didn't realise after watching the film so many times that the Elder Pred had. This little large bead to put his dreads in. In the film he has about three dreads put through it, and that's easily done. Don't push that too hard, you probably end up creasing them in time and they'll warp out. So just put it on sort of firmly but not loosely, sort of in the middle there and it seems to hold really well and not bend the dreads in a weird way. So that's really nice, nice pick up from Hot Toys. That basically covers his accessories. You know, he mightn't come with a lot but everything you need is on him. He's that detailed. It's unbelievable. Now I didn't think he could get better than the original head sculpt 
I thought that was a little bit of improvement you could get, but after having this, Hot, Tails have, Hot Toys have nailed it. They've actually started adding a Kevin Peter Hall in the suit. He had to blink, obviously, so they've got eyelids in there with the eyes. I thought the mandibles when seeing early pics might have been a little bit off still. It just depends how you view it. When we see in the movie, he's from a high position, and we're looking sort of up at him. So you sort of get that look you want. Got all the quills put on him. The original one didn't have those. So you can see you gotta be very careful when you move the head, where to put your fingers. The paint app's outstanding. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too bright seeing earlier pictures, but um, it has that dirty, old, weathered look that's perfect in hand. So I was quite surprised. It's a lot better than I thought that it was gonna be. And they got it spot on once again. Even got the mandible tusk that's broken, the ring with the piercing there. The strapping on this one here is plastic, it's a lot more solid and it doesn't have that fabric material the original one does, which could rot and perish. You've got beads all over his dreads. Dreads have got a little bit of detail on them. The original Predator 2 Elder had a bit more texture to the dreads. And these are a little bit more blue. If they're a little bit more grey, would have been a bit nicer, but that's just a minor nitpick. That's one of the best head sculpts I've seen on a Predator. Collectible period. And definitely the best on a Hot Toys figure. Got the shoulder cannon. Can we move it up and down? Something to watch out for if the first one's anything to go on by, go by, is a lot of people broke this on the original one. So you've got to be very careful moving that. But this time we have the laser target system on the top there. So it's a nice addition once again. The body, got the nice translucent like paint app. Looks really cool. Once again, I thought the head would have a different colour to the body, but in hand, it matches perfectly. Got the neck collar up in there to cover the neck joint. The joints are very stiff. It took me a little while to be able to manoeuvre it to get the gun pose here, where he's giving Harrigan a reward. You can't get him holding the skull trophy, bone trophy on his necklace there, like the original one could when we see him revealing himself for the first time. Haven't been able to do that. Doesn't bend enough in the elbow area. You've got all these cloth strapping. Got the bones over the pouch this time, which is more accurate. Got all these belts. We've got the sword sheath, which you see him put his sword in at the end of the film. The first one didn't have that. That's a nice addition as well. And a nice newer body, thicker legs. Yeah, this is a 99% figure for me. Can't get much better than that without having the real suit itself. As I was saying, uh, the mandibles, I think, are pretty close to being pretty accurate. Looked at some movie stills, and just different perceptions you think in your head. But once you sort of look at them side by side and compare them, um, they're absolutely spot on. And once again, it's just how you sort of angle it, what angle you look at the sculpt. Because in the movie, you see quite a few different angles, and it looks different in certain angles, which this does as well. I sort of angle this down like that. Really get that print to Elder look. Especially there. So he's absolutely swarming in detail. Absolutely love this figure. A lot of people ask me, what's your favourite Predator figure? I can never give them an answer because I like them all. But I'm going to tell them that this is 
my favourite by far. It's a standout Predator piece. One six scale piece in my collection. Got him got the hoses, which he has in the film. I think they're like a war sort of I'm not sure if they're plastic, but they've got that wire feel to them. Even got the cloth sewn look on the back. Cloth sort of pants. Very stiff joints, so he holds very well. You have to use two hands to move most of the joints. You do see this little bit of a unpainted part here if you want him posed like that. That's just a minor issue. Some people are nitpicking about the seam in the mandibles, but it'll be impossible to sculpt the, the head sculpt as one piece in that mold. You'll never be able to remove the actual mold from the casting. So they have to be made separately, painted separately, and then added. So you can understand why Hot Toys did that. Because a lot of people have been winching, oh, they should have been no seen, they should have done in one go. Uh, it's just impossible to do. If the mandibles were more closed and sealed, like the original AVP figures, yeah, they could do that. But with them open like this, it's too hard. Absolutely love it. Alright, I'm going to get the original one, so you can have a bit of a comparison. Here we are guys, both the Preto Elders, the original and the new. See I've got the original holding his skull necklace there. Those older bodies articulate a bit, not, bit better, he was able to do that. Something about that first one I still love, I'm not sure what it is. But the new one is an improvement. But as you can see, the new one is shorter than the old one. And I think Hot Twist should have done him a little bit taller than that. Kevin Peter Hall is the tallest pred, or guy in the suit. And they should be the biggest preds that Hot Toys make. They should be making them smaller. Once again, that's a minor thing. It still looks great, and that's the main thing. As I mentioned before, the dreads on the old one they have more texture. You can sort of see the rough look to them. These are a little bit greyer than the new ones. Wish the new ones, as I said before, were a little bit more grey looking. But yeah, that's another minor thing. Overall, I can't complain at all. Absolutely awesome figures, guys. And the new one is, as I said, a standout. Alright, before I leave you guys, I'm going to show you what he looks like with some of his Lost Tribe buddies. Let's just carefully bring these over. Here's a Lost Pred. That's standing on his side when he, he reveals himself. We've got Shadow Predator. Get Guardian. And City Hunter or Ghost Predator, as they call him. Sorry, guys, just focus that. Here we have the other Preds from the Lost Tribe. Really hope they make the remaining four or five. It's not likely, but it just seems incomplete without them. And they are some of the nicest looking Predators out there so really hope they do complete them one day there they are guys and there's the new Hot Toys Elder Predator 2.0 version hope you enjoyed the review happy hunting and get him while you can guys he's definitely a figure that's going to be sought after and sell out fast being as good as he is right guys hope you enjoyed thanks for watching Bye for now.